All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how I use uh, a plugin, which is not part of ZBrush called uh, Caliper Masters. And you can find this by just Googling Caliper Masters version two. You can find it on, on Gumroad. I use it uh, with the uh, 4R8 P2. I haven't tried it on the on the latest version because I haven't uh, upgraded yet. So this is what I use for all my figures and I love using it. And I think it's way better than the, the Scale Master. So I decided to make a video to show you what's my uh, work with this, uh, with this plugin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load my latest toy. So I'll go to ZBrush and have this. So 3D print ready. Okay, so once I finish uh, cutting out the the figure into multiple parts, uh, keying the figure, I'll usually either uh, insert, append a cube that I can use it as my scale, as you can see it here. Uh, you don't have to do this. I Usually I didn't do this, but now it's easier because I love that it takes the name of my scene because usually like the first subtool takes the name of the scene. So then I have a clean subtool. And also at the same time, uh, if I want something to be perfect in scale, I have to select the point above the ear and usually you, you fail to do that. So what I do is I create a box which holds the entire figure in and I'll use that for my scale. But you don't have to, you don't have to do that. So here's how Caliper Masters work. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead, Z plugin, open Caliper Masters, and then transform, make sure you have the transpose selected. And what you do is you click on top and set, set Caliper point, then make sure you have a constraint Y, because this is what I'm using now, but you can constrain to Z or to X, so you don't have to constrain if you don't need that, but just to make sure it's gonna draw like a straight line, you constrain to that uh, axis, okay? So then I'll click again on the bottom, set caliper point, right? So that's my scale. So now I'll go in and I'll tell it, well, I want this figure to be, I don't know, uh, seven inches, right? So I'll do custom inch, right? So if I do display measurement, it's gonna show me this is 6.9999568 inch. All right, but and now the figure is ready. So I can go ahead and I can go to export with shrinkage. I can export either all visible or you can export each each subtool on its own. Right. But it's not that's not even the best part about it. The best part about it is I can save the scale so I can go ahead and I can save uh, in a new folder and call this calipers uh, seven inches. OK. And inside, I can do a caliper units of seven inches and save. So let's say if I want to try this as a five inches, what I need to do is just like that, go restore original scale and then type in five inches, custom inch, right? So now if I do display measurement, see, so I can save another one, right? So the beauty of this is sometimes you finish a figure, you send it to a client and they come back and you, you want, they want to tweak it or you want to tweak your own figure just to make a, a couple of adjustments, right? And you want to make sure you have that scale. And I don't want to use scale master. I've seen a couple of tutorials, if, if, uh, but I'm not impressed. I'm, I don't like using it because I think it's a bit too finicky. With the calipers, I can save. And when I load them back, I have an exact, uh, you know, scale for my my figure i really hope you found found this helpful